is up everybody? In this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to add cutout people into a render architecture scene. All the files that I use in this video will be in the link in the description. The website is called scogglebar.se Alright guys, so let's begin. First of all I open the image for the background, then I pick a person that has no background in it and scale it down to fit the perspective. Press enter and then right click on the layer and rasterize it. Right click again and duplicate. Put below the original layer and go to image adjustments in hue and saturation. Make the lightness all black and click OK. Now we gotta make the shadow flat on the ground and to do that we're gonna press Ctrl T, distort, grab on top and put on the ground. Adjust the corners and, and stretch just a little to fit the sun direction. Take your time to do this because the better you do it the more realistic it will look. Alright so now we change the image mode from the shadow layer to soft light and then we go to blur Gaussian blur and put like two to three pixels just to make a little smooth and turn down the opacity now I'll grab the eraser and put it like a soft brush with a little big size and make the opac opacity down to 30 percent or so and what we'll do is make it fade away, um, giving a more realistic look. And for the shadow, that's basically it. what I like to do usually is get the layer from the from the person and do some hue saturations and turn down the satur saturation, and go again to image adjustments and levels, and adjust some shadows and some brightness. Uh, from the person and that's basically it for the drop shadow guys cool let's do the reflection one I'll grab another background and another person and I'll put in a floor that has some reflections that will show some lag reflection and against a window that will show some body reflections so I press enter and rasterize the layer again and go to image adjustments here in saturation and match the scene properties press ok and let's see then I'll again I'll duplicate the layer and put it below from the original one hit control T and flip vertically press enter and for this type of uh, reflection I usually try to make it look right instead of doing the right thing so that's why I grabbed the selection tool, the polygon selection tool and I brought the the left leg in this case up to touch his right foot so we will look more realistic I did some select and deselect and next we're gonna create a mask on the reflection layer and grab the gradient tool from black to white and try to fade away into the ground and what I usually do is grab the brush tool with the black color and start painting the areas that I, that probably are not gonna show like the grass so for the body reflection on the window we'll do the same thing so duplicate the layer press OK bring to the right and hit Control T flip horizontally this time putting in against the window and press enter we'll do the same thing at all guys so create a mask grab the grad gradient tool black to white and fade it away grab the brush tool and paint in black in the areas that are not gonna show and finally we're gonna start the motion blur let's open another background image this time I'm gonna pick a skater for the person because he's probably gonna be moving again I put in the 
in the scene, match the perspective size, press enter and rasterize the layer. Again, uh, image, human saturation, and let's bring the red a little bit down because it's too heavy on the on the screen. That's better. Let's uh, let's duplicate again. Bring down on the layer tab. Go to image adjustments and hue and saturation, and bring all the lightness down to black. Con hit Control T, distort, and make the shadow flat on the surface. Uh, you can move the anchor points to do that. All right. Now it starts the easiest part. Go to filter blur and motion blur. And now you're gonna test and see how much you need to motion blur your person to make it look like he's moving. I usually don't do too much. Now grab the shadow layer and change the image mode to soft light as we did in the shadow one. Uh, grab the razor and put the big brush with some 30% opacity and just fade it away just like we did before. Good guys, that's all the learning from this tutorial. Now I'm gonna show the first image with three people in it and what you gotta do when you have multiple people in the same scene, you gotta align all the heads with the horizon line to make the right perspective. Alright guys, so that's all for this tutorial. If you liked the video, please leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel because I'm gonna start posting a lot more tutorials from now on. And please comment what you want to see next. I'm willing to do a lot of new stuff. Thank you.